Okay, so EA Sports have dropped the Elite New Year Review Pack. Contains 25 rare gold players with five guaranteed to be either Winter Wildcard, Centurions, Team of the Year Honorable Mentions, or Future Stars. We're about to open it up. Let's crack it open and let's see what we can get. What we can get. Have you guys got a terrible team, no coins, and you want to buy some of the brand new players? Oh, go on, man. Well, look no further than millfactory.com. Go over there to get the cheapest, most safe, reliable coins and use the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for 5% off your order. Link is in the description down below. All right, here we go. My Elite New Year Review Pack. Then after this, we might open up a few more of them and a load of the 85 Plus Campaign Packs as well. EA. Please do not sharpen me here and give me something good. All right, here goes nothing. Let's just do it in three, two, one. The Elite New Year Review Pack is open. Future Stars, please be a good one. Big centre mid. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not good. That's not good. That's not... Okay, that's not good right now, but hopefully there's something better behind. Please tell me there's someone better than Sansei behind this. Oh, I am begging. I am begging right now, EA. Why are you there? Why is Tim Cahill there? I think I've just packed him by accident. Oh, no, no, please. I don't think any of them special cards are good. Literally, not a single one of them are good. Not a single one of my special cards are good. Oh, my God, that is horrific. That is absolutely horrific. Well, it's all good. Maybe we'll open up another one and hopefully someone else's luck is better than mine because that was horrific. Oh, I've got my 10 coin pack as well. Nearly forgot that. We don't want to be forgetting that. Go on. Give me a banger in the 10 coin pack. Support at least. Messi. No, it's going to be D Dybala, 86. Not bad. We'll take that. We'll take a Dybala. Thank you for the um, good fodder. Oh, we got an 82 times 20 here from STFC. I wasn't even ready for that, but he's cracked it already. Laurie says the best on the front. Not the greatest, but let's see what's behind Lurie's. Maybe there's something good behind him. You never know, right? One walkout. Oh, God, that's tough. That's tough. That's tough for me, eh? One walkout. Okay, well, okay, it's all good. It's fine. All right, I've done another one of these. They've been refreshed, and we've got a load more. We're going to open up these, uh, of these, sorry, after as well. But let's crack this open, and let's see what we can get. Can EA hook us up with a W? Fingers crossed they do. All right, come on. Give me a banger. Give me a banging 85. If I get a banger, I'll do another one right now. Fantasy foot, England, Cam. Oh my god, that's like the 15th time I've packed him. I've genuinely packed him so many times. And I, I'm pretty sure I've already got him untradeable. Why? And he's not, he doesn't even play. It's literally the most pointless fantasy card ever. I was going to do more, but oh, he's tradable. Maybe I do do, I don't know. But still, that's annoying. That is just triggering. Okay, first thing we're going to kick this off with is the packs on the store. We've got a New Year review pack and also a premium New Year review pack, which is absolutely ridiculous. We're going to open both of these up. Then we've got the SBC packs as well to go through. So let's just go straight up with this first, the New Year review pack. It contains two guaranteed players from Winter Wildcard Centurions, Team of the Year, Honorable Mentions, or Future Stars. We're going to crack this open. Hopefully, we can see something good within this pack. EA, please. Show me a big pull. Future stars. What future stars, though? Portugal. Goalkeeper. Oh, Diogo Costa. Not really what I wanted, but the reason I've opened up these before the SBC ones is so we can actually use these if they're not good for fodder. Okay, let's see who's behind him. We've got at least one other special card behind him. Tahith Chong. Okay, well, I wanted a bit of a higher raid special card, if I'm honest. But then we've got the two loans. Not that they really matter. A lone hero, pretty terrible. And we've got a one of three prime icon loans. So, you know, nothing really special there. Let's get on to some more of these packs. All right, there's also a 10 coin pack, which we'll open up as well, because why the hell not? What do we get from this? Three rare golds, I think it said, for 10 coins. We get an informed walkout from that. That's not bad at all. Canadian strike. Jonathan David, 88 from a 10 coin pack. Obviously, it's untradeable, but that is extremely good to get back from that, I think. I don't know what, if you're guaranteed like a walkout or not, but oh my word, I don't know what he's worth. Probably not too much, but still, 88 rating forms are good any day of the week. I will take that. Thank you very much, EA. All right, then last but not least for the store packs, we've got the premium New Year review pack, which gives us 30 red golds, 81 or higher with two guaranteed special cards again. Sadly, the 30 golds, 81 or higher, and there's no other cards in packs alongside, obviously, these specials that you get in these guaranteed packs, but we'll crack it open nevertheless. Can we get any good 81 pluses and can we get a good special card? Okay, team of the year, honorable mentions, England striker, 
Harry Kane, that's not 92 Kane. Even if I don't use him, that's good because it's very, very good fodder. Uh, I don't know what he's worth. I think he's had, well, he's had a better card since this card, I believe, but not bad. Not a bad card to get on the front. Anyone good behind him? What's the other special card? We've got the two in forms. By the looks of it, the other special card is going to either be at the back or it's a duplicate. It's a duplicate Diogo Costa, but we also did get, what, two walkouts there as well, so not too bad. We didn't get shafted extremely, and also two informs. Informs are always good for SBCs at least. Okay, well, there's the store packs done. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and complete the SBCs, then I'll be back with you guys, and we can see what we get. Before we get through the SBCs, though, like I said, I'll show you the new content. We've got Luis Diaz SBC, who is one squad, four star, four star. A one squad for a Luis Diaz. That doesn't seem bad at all. The requirements is an 83 rated squad as well. Okay, EA are nice and us here with the content. I believe these cards can also be upgraded as well. So that's pretty cool. I like that. And also a Cruyff SBC. I personally won't be doing that. I've got his Prime, which I packed for an Icon pack, but not bad. 11 squads for that. Not too shabby at all. But now the store content that we are here for. I mean, we've got 82 times 20s, which I won't be opening because there's nothing else in packs currently. So they'll be saved. But we've got an 85 plus mixed campaign upgrade, which can be done five times. So we're going to do the first one here first. It is a 82 and an 83 rated for these. So let's do one. Let's see how it goes. And then we can open up some more if it's good. All right. I've completed my first 85 plus mix campaign upgrade. Let's get to the store. Let's open it up and let's see what we can get. All right. Hick us up here. EA, please. It's the same ones. Well, actually, it's not the same. We've got a ones to watch. Out of position, winter wildcards, team of your honorable mentions, or future stars. So, ones to watch is in there as well. Let's open up my first one. Oh, I've got items to deal with first. Hang on. Now, let's open my first one. We should be good to crack this open. Please don't be ones to watch. Out of position. Who's it going to be? France, left wing. Who's it? Teo. Oh, Teo Hernandez. That's not the worst one. I don't know if he goes for much nowadays, but it's not the worst card to get. Like, it definitely could have been a lot worse. That's not bad. For the first one, Hernandez, I'll take that. I'll actually, I'm not too fussed about that. I mean, how much is he actually worth? He's worth, he's still worth about 100 k okay, actually. That's a really good dub. Oh, well, thank you very much, EA. I will take that happily any day of the week. After the first one, we definitely have to go again. Hopefully, we can get something just as good as Hernandez here. Or better. You never know, right? Never say never. What do we see? What card is it? It's a winter wild card. What nation? Dutch. Centre mid. Gravenberch. Ah, I thought I was going to be better than what it was for some reason. I don't know why. Gravenberch. I mean, it's not the worst card again, but I don't really see anyone using him. It's not the worst. I've got a lot of good midfielders, though. So sadly for me, he's probably just going to be fodder, really. But what's he worth? About 100k as well, again. I mean, it's once again a decent pull. If you've got if you've got a team he fits in, it's perfect. But for me, he doesn't really fit in. But not bad again. Two so far out of two have been good. Can we make it three in a row? Let's do another one, definitely, after that. Also, I'm running out of fodder, so I'm going to do an 83 times 10. Like I said, there's no other special cards in packs. So, realistically, informs are the only specials we can get. This one does bring us an inform from England. It's going to be Walker Peters. That's not bad. That's actually good fodder again. But I need some big players behind him as well for some fodder. De Bruyne, Rodri, Milinkovic, Savage. Yeah, that's decent. That's that's hooked us up with at least one more of these packs. All right, the EA Sports. Make it a hat trick for me. Teo Hernandez in the first. Gravenbuch wins wildcard in the second. And third time lucky. Coming to play here. Oh, no, that's not good. That's not good. It doesn't even walk... Oh, it's under Herrera. Oh, no! We were on such a good streak with the first two there. Then we see ourselves an Ander Herrera. Well, that's kind of painful. But, yeah, no. It is what it is. We did get lucky with the first two, so I can't complain too much. But that is going to wrap up today's video. Like I always say, make sure you guys let me know in the comments below what you got in your packs. Were they good or were they bad? Did you get a good pull from the upgrades or even the store packs? Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>